126 by 11 in the morning, we made it to St. Peter's Square, with plenty of time for the Angelus Blessing, imparted by Pope Francis every Sunday at noon, a tradition started by Pope John XXIII. While the crowds were building up, we decided to walk around the square, admiring the different monuments and taking pictures and video clips for posterity, before we positioned ourselves in a spot that would allow us direct line of sight to the balcony where Pope Francis would emerge onto to deliver his address. This is one of the two fountains adorning the square. They were created by Carlo Maderno, 1612-1614, and Gian Lorenzo Bernini, 1667-1677. The colossal Tuscan colonnades, four columns deep, frame the trapezoidal entrance to the basilica and the massive elliptical area which precedes it. At the center of the square stands the Egyptian obelisk of red granite, 25.5 meters tall, supported on bronze lions in all 41 meters to the cross on its top. The obelisk was originally erected at Heliopolis, Egypt, by an unknown pharaoh of the 5th dynasty of Egypt. During its history of 4,400 years, the obelisk has been successfully moved three times. Totus Tuus was Pope John Paul II's apostolic motto. This tile, called the West Ponente, the West Wind, is also known as Respiro di Dio. Gusting from the angel's mouth, Bernini had drawn a powerful breath of air blowing outward away from the Vatican, the breath of God. This was Bernini's tribute to the second element, air. View of St. Peter's Basilica from Via della Conciliazione. Maderno's facade with the statues of St. Peter left and Paul right, flanking the entrance stairs. The facade is 114.69 meters wide and 45.55 meters high and is built of travertine stone with a giant order of Corinthian columns and a central pediment rising in front of a tall attic surmounted by 13 statues. Christ flanked by John the Baptist and 11 of the apostles except Peter whose statue is left of the stairs. The inscription below the cornice reads, in honor of the Prince of Apostles, Paul V Borghese, a Roman Supreme Pontiff in the year 1612, the seventh of his pontificate. Let me give you a brief explanation about the Pope's address, known informally as the Angelus Address. The short ritual is broadcasted by public television and Eurovision Network, and at the end the Pope leads recitation of the Angelus and concludes with a blessing upon the crowds in the square and televiewers. Now, by coincidence, on the Sunday of our visit, July 26, the Catholic Church was celebrating Saint Joachim's Feast Day. Saint Joachim, the Virgin Mary's father, is named as the patron of fathers, grandfathers, grandparents, married couples, cabinet makers, and linen traders, 
so Pope Francis had a special blessing for all noni, Italian for grandparents, on that day. It was a happy coincidence. Buon pranzo e arrivederci.